Oh, certainly, Senator Graham. Thank well, thank you, Senator Fisher, and thank you both, Madam Chairman. Uh, uh, <clears throat> let's just get right to it. Uh, last year in budget, we appropriated $430 million, the Congress did, for construction of the uh, MOX facility. Is that correct? Um, I would have to recheck that, but I believe it is, yes. Okay. Are you doing with the money what the Congress told you to do? We have proceeded with a plan uh, according to the, uh, the, the scope of work that we had established initially. Well, we gave you $430 million to complete construction on a facility that is 60, 60 percent complete. From what you just told Senator Kagan, uh, it is my understanding you have stopped construction. Is that correct? Uh, the order to stop construction has not yet been given. That is the uh, But plan. we expect it to be. Okay. How can you do that? Um, as you know, the issue of um, appropriate use of 2014 appropriations is uh, currently an issue of a lawsuit, and therefore it would be inappropriate for me to comment further on that matter as it currently well, is before the courts. There is an agreement between us and the Russians. That is what the MOX program is all about. It is 34 metric mm -hmm. tons of weapons grade plutonium mm -hmm. determined to be in excess of both nations' defense needs that could be used to create thousands of nuclear warheads. The MOX program in 2011 was designated by the United States as the disposition path that we would pursue. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Have you talked with the Russians about this idea of changing course? We have had some consultations with the Russians, yes. What did they say? Uh, they have commented in return. Who that, did you talk to and when? Um, I would have to look at that in, in detail. The Secretary has had a brief con conversation with the Russian Ambassador. And I, I'm, okay. Please tell me when and who had the conversation and provide me information about what they said, please. We, we will take that back. Okay. Uh, now, how, m how much plutonium is in South Carolina as a result of the agreement by the State of South Carolina years ago to take this material as a result of the, the MOX program? How much is in South Carolina? About 13 metric tons. Okay. How much of that is MOXable? About eight. Okay. Where is the rest of the plutonium? The rest of the 34 metric tons? Mm -hmm. It's still in pit form. Okay. When is it supposed to be sent to South Carolina? At this point, we are not sending further shipments of plutonium to South Carolina for how much does purposes. it cost to guard or manage that stockpile per year? Um, that is a stockpile at the Pantex facility that is incorporated into annual costs there. Okay. So there is a cost to be borne by watching this material, I would hope. Yes. Okay. Yes. In the President's budget, does he lay out a disposition alternative other than MOX? Um, no. The disposition alternative is not yet identified. Even though Congress told you to keep constructing the facility, you decided not to. You have going to put it in cold storage and you don't have an alternative to move forward. Also, you have an agreement with the Russians where we signed in 2011 saying this would be our exclusive path of disposition. Is all that correct? That is correct. Okay. Now, when it comes to uh, 50 U.S.C. 2566, are you familiar with that statute? If you tell me what it relates to, I uh, probably It is a requirement to meet disposition goals or, or pay a $100 million a year fine for Correct. five years. Yes. I am very familiar okay. with it. This statute was written with myself and I think Senator Thurman that goes that far back to protect South Carolina in case something happened with us receiving this plutonium. Uh, is there any way you are going to meet, if you put this in coal storage, the obligations under the statute to have one metric ton uh, processed by 2016? We believe that there are options, but again, that is going to be and, an and, element and, and, of and, what we study. And, and I don't want to get this thing overly nasty, but I have been dealing with this forever. There is no option. 
there is no viable option to MOX that would be cheaper and meet the target dates of disposition. That's just a complete, absolute, absurd concept, and I know that would be the fact. This program has had cost overruns. I want to work with you to de deal with that, but you're taking an agreement with the Russians, the State of South Carolina, you're breaking the direction given to you by the Congress without any viable alternative. This is incredibly irresponsible. It's going to cost us more money. It's going to create problems with weapons-grade plutonium in the hands of the Russians at a time we need no more problems with the Russians. So I just promise you this will not go away and it will not, will not be allowed to stand because it is so, so irresponsible. How much will it cost to terminate the MOX program? We do not yet have a projection for what it would cost to terminate because I've been that told is not at least part a, of a plan. A billion dollars. Is that correct? Would that be true? Uh, Taxpayer would be on, on the hook for a billion dollars in cost if we terminate this program? I do not believe that there is a detailed cost estimate. Okay. I'm going to give you a series of questions. <clears throat> I don't have time now. I would uh, appreciate a, a, a prompt response. Particularly, I will be talking to the Russians myself. I have talked to DOE. Uh, they very much hope we don't lay off the workforce until we can find a way forward. Mm -hmm. Ms. Harrington, I will work with you and others to try to make this uh, program more cost efficient. I don't think that's an unreasonable request. But what you have decided to do, this administration has decided to do in the budget, is irresponsible financially. I think it's reckless in terms of trying to take material off the market that would present a uh, proliferation threat. I think it makes no business sense, and uh, we will continue to have this discussion. So thank you very much. Okay. Senator, and thank you for all of the efforts you have put into this, and we would look forward to working with yes, you. Yes, ma'am, we will. And we will be in recess until after the vote. Thank you.